Welcome back everybody. Today we're creating a day night cycle in Unity. So I'm here on the new project screen and I'm going to create a new empty 3D project. Or alternatively, if guys want to do the render pipelines, you can, but this will just work on a normal 3D one. Um, regardless, let's just call this something like day night cycle. Uh, save it wherever you want to save it. Uh, and that is good to go. So I'm going to press create and then I'm going to cut to when the project has loaded. Okay, and the project has loaded in, so let's get straight into it. Uh, I'm going to create a new 3D object, and I'm just going to create a plane for now, just so we can get something vis uh, visible, at least a little bit. And I'll just leave that as is. And then I'll create a 3D object cube, just so we can, again, see something going on in our scene. Reset that. And I'm just going to set that to 0.5, so it sticks out. From there a little bit, nice. And then I'll just cut a material real quick for these as well. So the method I'm going to use to create this daylight cycle is a slightly different method than what you may have seen online. I'm going to use an animation to control it. The reason I'm going to do that is because an animation gives us a little bit more control over the intensity over time, the color over time, and all that. So for example, in sunsets or um, stuff, we can have the sun a little bit more red. In mornings, maybe a little bit more blue or yellowy, pink even, if you want a nice fantasy sort of feel. Um, and I think it's a nice way. It gives better results, in my opinion. So let's get started. Let's go window, animation, and animation. Drag and drop your animation tab to the bottom is where I like to do it. And then you can just press create. And I'm going to call this day, night cycle. Nice and simple. Let's set this to zero for now. And then let's press record. And what we're going to do is it's going to start at zero and then over one minute for the moment, or rather this is one second, I believe. Yes. So over one second, we're going to make the X equal to 360. So you'll see now that the sun rotates, but it's kind of slowing down again, which we don't really want to happen. So how can we fix that? We're going to play with the curves a little bit. So as you can see the curves, we have this giant pink line here going from 0 to 360. And it kind of has this taper to it, which is what's creating that sort of effect of it smoothing out. If we simply select one of them, right click, go both tangents and say linear, you can see that straightens off the top. And now we just want to do that to the bottom as well. So you want to select a node, both tangents, and press linear. And that gives us the straight line up. And now, if I press play, you see that it's constantly rotating at the same speed, which is exactly how we want it to be. So let's go back to our dope sheet. Uh, let's lower this window a little bit. And you can see that it's day and night cycle is really working, except it's a bit fast, obviously. So we can mess around with that value, uh, the speed, later. But for now, let's just get a couple more things set up, uh, which is, for example, the color. So zero is the morning. So preferably, I'd want it to be a little bit more pink in the morning, the light. So this is then the evening at 30 seconds. It, has, it is at 130 rotation, which means I want it to be nice and red, the light. So that gives us this nice transition from pink to red, except in the center here, during the midday, I want it to be a nice, almost white, sort of tinted yellow. And then here, obviously the color should, at this point, midnight, the color should not be anything. We want to make it black. And that way, here, the color should be the same as this frame. And the way we're going to do that is very simply copy this frame and move it, go, move this line to the end and do Control-V. So Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. So we just want to open this up and make this 0 again. Oh, sorry, 360. So let's move this line to be close to the end. Let's make this 360 there. Cool, and now you'll see, oh, I'm on the wrong axis. <laughs> Leave that there. This should be 360 here on the x-axis. There we go. 
And now you can see that we have a daylight cycle, except obviously it is quite fast. It looks almost like a disco light. So let's press stop. Inside, if you click this, every time you create an animation, that's your animation here, it creates an animated controller. So how can we modify this? You need to go to modif uh, window, animation animator. That brings up this window. So inside this window, you can see that our animation is highlighted here in orange uh, because that is the only animation we have at the moment. And once we click that, you see that this setting pops up here, speed. So that determines how fast you want your animation to play. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lower that to something about maybe 0.01. And that should give me a decent enough speed on my day and night cycle. And you can see that it's slowly increasing. It might be a bit too pink, but I think you guys get the idea. That was definitely too pink. Um, but yeah, if you got, uh, that's very easy to modify for you guys if you want. And the thing with animation as well is I can simply go here and I can make it so, for example, I want it to be night sooner uh, and days to last longer. It's so customizable. There's so much more you can do with it. And there's just so much, it's much better in the way that you can sort of utilize it. Otherwise, you would have to do this all via code and changing this, blending that. It is a lot more effort than it probably needs to be. Um, and the thing is as well, here we're setting it to a nice orange color. If we want it to be a uh, nice orange color sooner, we can just simply move this node over, or this keyframe rather, and you can see that it becomes orange much sooner. There you go. And like I said, very customizable. Again, feel free to also do Control A. That gives you this, and you can just extend this a little bit more as well uh, to there. And that will give you a slower payback speed as well. But yeah, play around with that one, guys. That is a quick and easy method to create a nice, ingenious little customizable daylight cycle, which you can use not only in, well, you can use in whichever project you want, uh, really. And yeah, play around with that. Let me know how you guys thought of this video. If you want to see more sort of quick tips like this and quick creations like this um and whatnot but yeah leave a like subscribe and join the discord if you haven't already link will be below and i thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one